Good morning. I'm, uh, I'm York County Sheriff Kevin Tolson, and I appreciate you coming today uh, for this press conference, news conference. Um, it's not salacious. It's, it's nothing uh, real earth shattering, but it's important to us uh, in law enforcement that we get this word out, that we use our partnership with the, with the media to help get this word out. And what I'm talking about today are phone scammers. We have seen a, a recent uptick in people impersonating sheriff's office employees in an effort to drive fear into people to get money out of them under the guise of a, a jury duty uh, scam. So I appreciate you coming today and we're seeing uh, again a, a, an up, upward tick in this trend. And they're not impersonating just any officer. They're not making up names. Uh, what these sophisticated scammers are doing is going on our web page and going on our social media page and they're actually grabbing the names of real employees here. Some scammers have even gone so far as to reach out to social media and grab the names of family members of our staff here in order to bolster their information to make it seem more legit. And how this works is they'll call you and they'll say I'm deputy so-and-so or I'm captain so-and-so with the York County Sheriff's Office and you have failed to report for jury duty and there's now a warrant for your arrest. And that's when they begin to invoke the fear into these uh, people and these victims that they're calling. And they invoke so much fear that they, uh, when, when fear strikes people, they don't think rationally. Uh, they're thinking, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong, I'm gonna go to jail. Uh, what is it that you need me to do? And what these, what these scammers do is they'll tell you to go to a cash app, Venmo, um, we don't use Venmo, any cash app, we don't use any electronic means to get any money from you. In fact, if you have missed jury duty or you have a warrant for your arrest, we will not call you and tell you. We will send a deputy to your house with a badge and a piece of paper that has the legal documentation that says that we have the necessary authority to arrest you. We will never call you and alert you. We'll never call you and ask you for your money. Unfortunately, that has happened too many times, and I'm going to go over some numbers here in just a minute. But I would ask if there are any employees in this room, if your name has been used in one of these scams, if you will come up in front of the screen and behind me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. These are the true names of people that work for the Sheriff's Office. These are the faces that go to those names that have been used. And these are the people that you all trust, that our public trusts, and we appreciate that trust. And what these scammers are doing, they're eroding, eroding that trust that the public has in us by committing these scams. And so I just want to reiterate, again, we will not call you, uh, we will not ask you for money if in the event that you do have a warrant for your arrest there's a process in place um, our judicial process we you have the right to be in front of a judge and that judge is the one who will tell you if you owe money or not not us and so um, i'm going to call a number that was used just last week this is the actual number that was used just last week by one of the scammers That worked last last week, and Trent has a, an actual recording of how, how one of these scams will work. This is the number that is now disconnected. You have reached the county sheriff's department. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911 immediately. Be advised that we have made recent menu changes. If you know your division's extension, you may dial it at any time. All calls are subjected to recording and monitoring. For Sheriff Department location and information, please press 1. For public records, please press 2. For the jail division, please press So it sounds legit. Uh, number one, we're not a department, we're an office. Uh, that's small detail, but uh, that's, that's one indicator that, that this is not a legit call. 
Uh, number two, we have a, a human voice, not a robot phone. And what I would encourage folks to do uh, are a couple things. Um, if you receive one of these calls, first of all, don't be meek. Be firm. They're going to be very bold and very firm and try to invoke fear into you in order to get what they want. Uh, number two, if you suspect it is a scam, hang up. I know it sounds weird that if we do legitimately call you to hang up, but that's okay. We understand. And what I want you to do is hang up and call 803-628-3059. 803-628-3059. That is our legitimate number, and you can ask for the person who claims to have just called you, and I guarantee you that person did not call you. But we will work with you in, in that way. And again, that's 803-628-3059. Don't give your hard-earned money out to, in, out to anyone. And uh, again, I'm going to go over some numbers here in just a second. But I'll tell you this. If your mother or your grandmother or your father or your grandfather is on fixed income, three or $400 is a, is a lot of money to them. And so it's, it's important for us to get this word out for people not to fall prey to these scams. Uh, Going over some numbers, in 2023, we had 829 fraud cases. Twelve of those were impersonating officers. Fortunately, of the 12, eight did not fall prey. And these are reported cases. We know that there's more, but these are just the reported cases. <laughs> eight cases had no money taken, uh, and 19 reports were from citizens with a total defrauded amount of $166,955, $9,000 of that was by these scams alone. That's an average of one a month. In 2024, since the beginning of the year, we've had nine cases already of this, of this particular type of scam. Seven, imperson seven impersonation cases, three had no money taken, four did uh, for a total of uh, $12,700 this year of people being scammed out of one total over $9,000. So again, uh, this is not a lot of money. But we are seeing uh, a, a huge uptick in, in this type of scam. And I, I ask the media, please, please help us put out the word that this is not legit. Don't listen to them. Do not go to Venmo, Cash App, any kind of uh, Visa card or gift card. We don't operate like that. And that should be a big red, a big red flag not to fall prey uh, to these knucklehead scammers. And so with that, I have Angie Bryant, our clerk of court. Uh, she is going to come to the podium and explain the jury process and what, uh, what really would happen if you were to fail to report for jury duty. So, thank clerk. you very much. Um, I too thank you for this opportunity. It is um, a very important problem that we've been having, not just recently, it's an uptick recently, but it is something that um, we have had in the past several times and we've gotten phone calls complaining about us threatening them to be arrested for not showing up for jury duty. Um, something happened yesterday, it was an actual an, an ex-employee of mine that has moved on to another job, but she, knowing what our process is, also fell for this, did not, did not get any money from her, but it made her nervous enough to call us to find out what was going on. But the process is when you're summons for jury duty, um, we expect you to be there. Um, if you do not show up, we, we may follow up with a letter. Um, but if, we're, if there's any type of arrest warrant or arrest order issued for you, that's done by a judge. And that's not something that we uh, normally do. A judge would um, order that for us to take care of that situation. But please know that we would never contact you to um, pay any money. Uh, that is not something that we would do. So please, and I, I want to stress what, what the sheriff said also, please let your, your elderly people know because they will fall for this. These scammers know a lot of information. They know a lot of personal information. So please, um, when you get a summons for jury duty, just show up and we'll take care of you. If uh, you get a call about that, um, please, please, please do, like he said, call up and call the sheriff's, hang up and call the sheriff's department. But thank you very much. Yes, and our number is 803-628-3036. Please, please, please give us a call if you should receive any information from anyone telling you that you're in trouble for not showing up for jury duty. We're not going to call and do that, so please be mindful of that. Thank you. Well, that will conclude our uh, presentation. Are there any questions? Yes, sir. 
I know the first part of this is awareness, but what are you doing, or, or how do you go about catching these guys? So technology is very advanced, and, and uh, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, you may get a call that on your caller ID it shows up that it's that 803-628-3059 number. That's called spoofing. It's very easy to do. There are apps out there that you can download and you can spoof a call where it looks like it's coming from us, but it actually isn't, which is why I encourage you to hang up. Um, they use uh, voice over internet um, lines, so it's tied to an, I an IP, but it's very hard to track down. But, but our cyber crimes unit um, and our financial crimes unit we, we work very hard to try to identify those folks. Unfortunately, a lot of times we are not successful, which is why awareness is even that much more important. But we, uh, to, to date, we have not had a successful locate uh, on one of these lines that has been used. And as you can tell, the one that was being used last week is already out of service. They've gotten another line that they're using, I'm sure. And Tina. sure, if you said that you hadn't had a successful locate, so that means the case is this year and last Correct. year? Correct. Okay. And I know it's difficult to track, but is it possible to determine if these calls are coming domestically or internationally? That is, uh, that is easier to determine, um, but to my knowledge, we have not had any uh, outside the U.S. What is about the average amount of the scam, of the money that they get? Five, about 500. That's Again, five. now the one that we had last week for 9,000, he got several thousand first, and uh, the individual was so fearful, he called him back and he said, look, uh, that wasn't enough. I'm going to get in big trouble. You need to go uh, get me some more money. And, and this individual went out and actually got more money. What exactly can, if, if someone is, does happen to be caught, what can they be charged with? Well, they can be charged with impersonating an officer, and they can be charged with uh, 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 fraud charges. Yeah, I have an answer to the question about the amount. We actually had a lady that come in about six months ago that she had she had fallen for the scam and she had actually been given a P.O. box to drop Bitcoin receipts into, which she had actually done. Um, but we were able to retrieve those because she had dropped them into the um, outgoing box at the post office. So it can, and that was like $2,000 in Bitcoins. And I don't understand Bitcoins, but that's, that was another part of the scam. We know that these scams are going on every day, and, and again, these numbers that I, I gave you are just reported numbers. We know that there's more, and I would encourage the public, please, if, if you do get a call and you don't fall for it, still please call and let us know. File an incident report. The more information that we have, the better, the better chances we have of tracking these folks down. Sheriff, is the primary scam a jury duty scam? Is that Yes, the or a warrant for your arrest. Or a warrant out for your yes. arrest, so you have to pay us yeah. money. Yeah, one or the other. The latest one has been jury duty. So with all the numbers, I mean, you demonstrated earlier that the number had kind of been deleted or killed in whatever instance. Is that common? Is that happening in all instances? It, it happens frequently. Um, we did a video where I actually uh, called the scammer uh, on the phone. It was, I think, Sergeant Casey. Um, he was impersonating Sergeant Casey, and I actually got him on the phone, and we, we uh, actually did a Facebook video where uh, I confronted him, told him who I was, and immediately... Uh, he hung up, and within 30 seconds, we called back, and that number was disconnected. So they just go number to number to number. Thank you all very much. I, I would certainly appreciate your help in getting this word out. Don't care about my ugly mug on the, on the TV. You can have your pretty faces on the TV. Just please get the word out in any way that you can, because, again, it's our elderly that are really suffering from this, that they're targeted because they know that they're easy targets and they're easily scared. So I appreciate any help that the media can give us on getting this word out. Thank you all for coming. Yes, sir. Could you drag this out a little longer? No, no, no. I apologize. Could y'all play the uh, phone again? Yeah. Real quick? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> is the number that was shown up on that video a clone number as well? Is it you it was 803-526-7221. Okay. So it wasn't an accurate number. No, it was not. It was not one that was you normally call. Yeah. It was hold, not spoof. Yes. Hold the phone up a little bit. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. You have reached the county sheriff's department. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911 immediately. Be advised that we have made recent menu changes. If you know your division's extension, you may dial it at any time. All calls are subjected to recording and monitoring. For Sheriff Department location and information, please press 1. For public records, please press 2. For the Jail Division, please press... That's about it. <coughs>
after hours, you will get a dial one for enforcement or a dial two for detention, but that's it. That's after hours. Any other time, it's live people. How many get one? Thank you. Please hold while we connect your call to extension one. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message and your call will be returned as soon as possible. Uh, this is Sheriff Kevin Tolson with the York County Sheriff's Office. I understand I have a warrant for my arrest for not showing up for jury duty. Please contact me at the legitimate sheriff's office number at 803-628-3059, 803-628-3059. I'm, I'm willing to uh, turn myself in. Thank you.